Well, brothers and sisters, welcome back. This is the In My Grow Show, the podcast dedicated to taking the mystery out of cannabis. Me? I'm still Alex Robles. And I want to say thank you for taking the time to hang out with me and listen to me talk about cannabis for a little while. I hope you and your garden is looking beautiful. Me personally, my garden's chugging along real good. My vegetable garden is also. I had to deal with the gopher though this week, little bastard. What else is going on? Let's see. All right, so let's talk about what I'm smoking. Lately, I've had some green candy jack, which is a cross between green candy and jack hair. And you know why I picked it up? Because of the jack hair. Now, the green candy itself is already a cross of the candy kush and the green crack. So you see, folks, everything out there is hybridized. Everything is a cross of everything else. All right, what's next? And... All right, on social media. So on YouTube, somebody had commented. I want to give a shout out to Rusty Guillotine. Commented about a video I did a while ago about making a clone in a cup of water. Uh, Rusty Guillotine, yes. Um, takes about three weeks. You got to change the water about every two days. If you see the bottom of the glass start to get a little algae on it, just wash the glass out or get a new disposable cup, whatever you're using. Let's see, it also helps if, you know, if it doesn't get too cold. You know, if a temperature hovers between, you know, around 68 and 85, that's optimal, okay, for that. And like I said, it took, it takes about three weeks. That's the way I generally clone because I'm not in a hurry. The water itself, usually either from a fish tank or a fountain, something that's already been bubbling for a while. And again, I just change it every couple of days and it roots out pretty good. And speaking of social media, this past week, I had made a cloner using the Dewey Mister that I had gotten months ago. And it took me, it took me a while to make this. And I've had the idea to make this cloner for a while, but I didn't do it sooner because when I saw the Dewey Mister, I was really skeptical. But a few days ago, I put it together. I posted a video up on my YouTube page. If you go to YouTube and type in In My Grow, all one word, you'll see my uh, YouTube channel come up. Oh, excuse me. I was having coffee and I think it gave me a little bit of gas. All right. Like I was saying, like I was talking about, I made the cloner out of the Dewey Mister, a five gallon bucket. I just got some neoprene plugs and a air pump that I had that I used to use with some air stones for a different cloner. So put that all together, uh, made a video of it. It's been cloning for about, it's been going for about three days, four days. Uh, don't see any roots yet, but you know what? I'm gonna kind of blame that on the cool nights because I have the cloner outside it drops down to about eh, the low to mid 50s here at night so I think that's kind of holding it back a little but I did also make a humidity dome with an old five gallon water jug that I had lying around but I think I made it too tall I have to make it a little shorter and so I'm um, you know we'll wait and see and in the water I'm just using some recharge some microbes and a little bit of molasses and once again some water from a fountain or the fish tank. Hmm. All right. So now, let's get to the report from the cannabis front line. On the federal level, Senator Kamala Harris co-sponsored the Marijuana Justice Act. Senator Harris announced in a video message that she will be joining Senator Cory Booker, Bernie Sanders, Christine Gillibrand, and Ron Wyden in promoting this important legislation. This comes just a week and a half after California Senator Dianne Feinstein told reporters that she has dropped her opposition to ending the federal prohibition of marijuana. All right, good on Dianne Feinstein. So, once again, I don't understand why all of these senators don't pull together in just one bill. They're all looking to do the same thing. If not, they kind of, you know, overlap in some areas, but just pull it all together and make it one big one. Let's see, next, in Louisiana, House Bill 579 would expand the pool of patient eligibility for medical cannabis by permitting physicians to authorize cannabis therapy 
to those suffering from chronic pain, post-traumatic stress disorder, severe muscle spasms, or glaucoma. An update, HB 579 was approved by the Senate on May 9th. The bill now heads back to the House for review of Senate changes. And in Michigan, Senate Republicans are expected to discuss whether to enact marijuana legalization instead of allowing the question to appear on the November ballot, with the fear that the ballot question would turn out hundreds of thousands of Democratic voters. Check that out, folks. They would rather pass marijuana law than have all of you register to vote and come out and vote. Hmm. Wow. Talk about wanting to sedate the masses. Just for that, I think we should all register to vote. Go out there and vote our conscience. I don't care which way you vote. Just get out there and vote. That's all. Get involved. You know, read up on whatever is going on, where you live, and vote. All right, and in Vermont, county prosecutors are looking at ways to expunge prior marijuana convictions. I always love to hear that, that they're looking to expunge those convictions, man. Gives people a chance, a hope beautiful and as always i got this information off of the normal website that is normal.org go over there stay informed become a member okay ladies and gentlemen i'm going to take a short break i'm going to put on some music for you listen for a little bit i'll be back i need to take a drink i'm getting thirsty okay hang tight Thank you for letting me take that short break. I got hydrated. I feel better. Now, if you're an adult that's been curious about cannabis, whether you want to just use it to celebrate, to have a good time, to get high, or if you want to use it to treat some condition, I want you to know that there's other ways to using cannabis than just smoking it. You can take it in a raw oil form. You know, you put a little, a little rice size amount on your finger. You put it on your tongue and that's all you have to do. There are also capsules. You can have a cookie, a piece of chocolate. You know, you don't have to worry about the stigma of rolling a joint. There's nothing wrong with rolling a joint. Me personally, that's how I like to consume my cannabis, is by smoking it. But like anything, you know, take it in moderation, especially if you're new. Slow and low is the motto. And work your way up and pay attention to how it makes you feel and pay attention to how it doesn't make you feel. And if you have any questions, you know, send me an email, inmygrow at gmail.com, or you can find me on Instagram at inmygrow. If I don't have an answer, hopefully I'll help you find an answer. Now, speaking of answers, I want to talk a little bit about nitrogen deficiencies because nitrogen deficiencies are pretty common. You know, your plant uses nitrogen throughout its life for a lot of different things. So the first thing you have to remember is that nitrogen is really mobile, which means that if you have a deficiency, you're going to notice it in the older, lower leaves of the plant. You're also going to notice the leaf start to turn yellow between the veins. The veins are going to stay green at the beginning, and the leaf, the rest of the leaf, is going to turn yellow. That's called intervenal chlorosis. And this is just going to start moving its way up. Eventually, that leaf that started to turn yellow in between the veins is going to go completely yellow and just drop off and die. Now, to treat this, what I use is a fish emulsion with a little bit of kelp meal in it because it's a nice even 2-2-2, two, 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 which means it's got an MPK of 2-2-2, two, two, and, two, and it's really fast-acting. Other, other things that you could use is like a zebra guano. That's going to take a while to break down in your soil. If you're using it in the raw form, I don't know if you find it in the liquid form. Blood meal also, if you use it in your soil as a as an amendment, just like the zebra guano, it's gonna take you know a week, maybe ten days for to see really see any changes, because it's gonna take a while to break down to let the microbes break it down and make it plant available. Now, if your plant's really really green and like soft, supple, like uh, almost velvety. 
It's hard to explain. But real, just soft to the touch and super green. You might be giving it too much nitrogen. I would flush the soil. And the way I flush my soil is, let's say, my plant is in a five gallon container. I want to water that plant from the top down until I see at least five gallons of water running out from the bottom. Give or take, I mean, it's hard to measure, but you can pretty much eyeball five gallons pouring out. It takes a while, but that's how I would start to deal with a nitrogen toxicity or having too much nitrogen. And then after I flush it, then I would feed it a nice even NPK like once again. A nice liquid fish emulsion with kelp meal in it, you know, something nice and even. Uh, let's see, well I think I hit all the highlights from my notes. Mm. Oh, here we go. You know, another symptom is it's gonna, your plant's gonna slow down. When it doesn't have enough nitrogen, it's just gonna stop growing. It's not gonna be growing as, as vigorously and as fast as it was before. So, get to know your plant. Yeah, well, that's it. That's all I've got for nitrogen deficiency. If you have any questions, get a hold of me. Email me, Instagram me. And once again, go to my YouTube channel. Check out the video about making a cloner with the Dewey Mister. All right, brothers and sisters, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. As always, thank you for showing up. Be cool to one another. And remember to grow, learn, and teach. Lift up your hands and scream when we sing power to the poor And we open the door to the world with our fists raised high We're gonna fight, 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 fight until we die We're gonna fight, 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 fight until we die We're gonna fight, 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 fight until we die We hang out after the show, drinking beers and talking trash. Up with the poor, down with the man, our Uncle Sam. We leave the bar at night, we see the same lie after lie. Buy here, save here, live less. We're gonna fight, 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 fight until we die. We're gonna fight, 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 fight until we die.